Very good. Good morning um, or good afternoon as it is now. Um, great to be here talking to, to you this morning. Um, Dunbic has a long association with uh, New Frontiers and working with uh, TUD, uh, DIT as it was formerly. <coughs> formerly. Um, today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the role of Dublin Business Innovation Centre. Some of you may be familiar with it. Um, and how we can support you and your business uh, at all stages, going from ideation through to raising investment, closing investment and scaling. So moving on to, I suppose, the, the top level overview of, of how Dublin BIC works. So Dublin BIC would do four key things and we work very closely with the ecosystem players, particularly the ones you would have heard from already this morning, um, especially Enterprise Ireland and Intertrade Ireland, who you heard from um, the, the presentation just previous to the one that just took place um, and also with SkillsNet which uh, also just presented. Um, so the four things we do um, are investor ready preparation, access to finance, world class incubation and finally community and collaboration. <coughs> so going into those individually then what does it mean at a very practical level? So the bread and butter and the foundation work of what we do is investor ready preparation. So we work hands-on with companies. We've got two sort of top-level programs with a number of supports under those. Our investor-ready program is where we work one-to-one -one with companies. So we'd work intensively with about 50 companies one-to-one -one every year in helping them develop out their business plans, their financials, and their pitch decks. Um, and from that, then, we look to align them with funders. But specifically, what does that mean, then, in terms of the experience for you as a company? Well, at a very practical level, we will often call it the, the tough love program. So we'll give you honest, direct feedback on your documentation. And this works through a kind of initiative process. So you would submit your business plan, your financials. Our consultants will review them, comment them, sit down with you and go through those comments and discuss them. And the whole aim of this is through initiative process to get your documentation and indeed your story uh, that you give to investors into a robust, credible proposition to investors that stands up to tough investor scrutiny and that you can confidently uh, present and defend what you're planning to do as part of your business growth plans. Our Smart Start program is targeted at earlier stage companies. So this is really where you have an idea. Um, you're looking to develop out the idea, flesh it into a business model um, and really start doing some early stage customer discovery with a view to building a minimum viable product. So they're the two core programs that we deliver. Um, we're always looking to, to speak to new companies. And as I said, we work closely with a lot of companies coming through the New Frontiers program. So many companies who will have computed, uh, completed New Frontiers Phase 2 will actually then go on and join our Investor Ready program as they look to become high, high potential startup companies, uh, raise high potential startup funding from Enterprise Ireland, and also access seed investment through their angel investors are through venture funds. The second thing that we do is around access to finance. So we have three core funding channels um, in the marketplace. As um, Shane O'Hanlon mentioned from Intertrade Ireland, um, we run HBAN. Um, so HBAN is All Island Initiative, which is supported by Enterprise Ireland, Intertrade Ireland and Invest Northern Ireland. Um, what does that mean at a practical level? We have about 600 active angel investors around the country. They're in 15 different groups. And they will consider companies who are pitching for investment who are usually raising between somewhere between a half a million and a million in their seed round, unless of course it's a, a life science company, which it will be higher. And they're looking to access private investors. So we would hold 60 plus pitching sessions a year and we'll consider about 150 companies over the course of a year at those pitching sessions. And every year we will get about 60 investments made are close on 16 to 17 million of HBAN money will be invested into companies. So we're a key player uh, in terms of delivering uh, private angel funding into the early stage companies. We also manage two seed venture funds. We manage the AIBC Capital Fund, which is currently closed for new investments and just managing its portfolio of existing investments. And more recently, we launched our Ireland Smart Tech Fund, which is a 30 million uh, seed venture fund investing at seed level between primarily sort of between 200K and 600K in the first round into early stage ventures. So these are three key funding channels that we would manage and oversee. And any companies that we, we work with, we'll obviously look to introduce them to these networks. 
we're also well connected to all the other uh, VCs and funding networks out there. The third thing we do is around world-class incubation. So we manage the Guinness Enterprise Center, which is the largest single enterprise space in the country. Uh, recently had a 10 million uh, injection redevelopment where we've added two more floors to the building in, in Dublin 8. So it now has the capacity to, uh, it now has the capacity to um, cover uh, or to supply eight uh, or to, excuse me, it now has the capacity for up to 150 companies and 800 employees. We also manage the enterprise space um, in another enterprise space in Dublin called uh, Space at Dublin Bic and Bride Street, which also has capacity for up to 300 employees. So what's important about this is that companies invariably will need space and need flexible space offering when they start their, their journey um, and move from the accelerator programs such as New Frontiers and, and need to go out into the world. So the enterprise space um, is a flexible offering. Um, and what's more important about it is about community. It's where you can access other like-minded companies, people who you can cross-pollinate with in terms of helping getting your investment into the market space. The final thing we do is around community and collaboration. So we'd run a number of events throughout the year. Obviously, COVID has changed that. So we would have read, run a funding and scaling series quarterly, which regularly attracted in, in excess of 300 people. And it's where we would have entrepreneurs sharing their story of raising funds at different stages of their journey. So we'll have early stage entrepreneurs, and we'll have companies that have gone on to scale and indeed to exit um, and to deliver an exit to, to their investors. The other larger event that we run is, is the Future Scope Conference, which some of you may be aware of. So this was, until COVID, held in the Convention Center and attracted upwards of, of 16, 1,600 people. And it was very much about a, uh, an open innovation event where we look to cross-pollinate the best of Irish entrepreneurs with their resident multinational tech companies and also investors. Uh, and really, that was all about driving innovation, activity, and, and outputs. So those are the four key things we do. Um, that's what uh, entrepreneurs are looking for, is advice, money, and space, and, and also networking. You know, in terms of how you go to engage with us, um, it's quite simple. You can connect with us through our website, so the info at uh, dublinbic.ie or info at hband.org. Um, We'll always have an initial meeting with you, discuss where your business is going and give you guidance on the pathway that we see as the most appropriate or, or direct you indeed to, to other people in the organization or in the ecosystem who could support you. So the first step is really just to engage with us, contact us, have a conversation. Um, and we're always very open to, to hearing from any business. So please don't be shy in coming forward. Um, Similarly, with the incubation, if you want to connect with us, um, info at GEC, you're welcome to come up to see the Enterprise Centre, to view the co-working or indeed the, the private uh, office space uh, and get a tour up there. In terms of resources that we provide, in addition to this, um, we do have a, a portal, which we call the Knowledge Now portal, which has a wealth of content on it. You can see the address there now, uh, no at .dublinbic.ie. So if you're looking for specific content in terms of uh, investor-ready templates, these could be business plans, they could be financial templates, they could be templates around term sheets or investment. Um, or if you're looking for additional learning content uh, on key elements of growing your business and developing your business, such as sales, operation, finances, and so on, then you can log on to this portal and access that content for free. So that's all from me um, today. Um, as I say, I'd be very interested to talk to you, any of you to learn more about your ideas. And I suppose my advice would be really for you taking your business forward is to get out there, to network, to speak to as many people as possible, to share your idea with as many people as possible and take feedback from the marketplace. And then I think what we find is that you will ultimately, um, I suppose, uh, from that feedback, you'll get a sense of, you know, what's going to work, what's not going to work, what's going to resonate with investors, what are the key steps and tasks you need to take to progress through the various support channels in the marketplace, be it Enterprise Ireland, Local Enterprise Office, Intertrade Ireland, ourselves in Dublin BIC. Um, so we're always there, willing to help you, and we look forward to, to meeting you along the journey. Thank you.